Hi, good morning and welcome back. I'm Krista Namdal and this is my show. We are live in Southwest Florida in my backyard today. If you are joining me live, please say hello. I have lots of exciting things to share with you today, all about color, and I think you're going to enjoy it very much. If you're joining me live, please say hello. If you have questions for me, please let me know. Let's see, I might need to lift this one up a little bit to match the other one. Hi, Grace, good morning. Hi, Thea and Kathy. Yes, those of you that aren't sure if this is my lanai or not, it is because my backyard neighbor tore all the trees down last week. I no longer have that lush, private back wall in my backyard. It's pretty sad, actually. They tore down all the trees and um, I no longer have that beautiful privacy fence of trees behind me. I have my three bougainvillea plants, but that's it. The rest of it is open to the neighbors. It's, ugh. I am not happy about it, but obviously it's not the worst thing in the world. Life could be worse, but as you can see, it's just chain link fence back there now for most of the yard, no longer private. You can see that house, which is under construction and super loud all the time. And this one where there are late night parties all the time. Anyway, that's always happened even before the, um, even before the trees were torn down. It's just, I don't have any privacy anymore. Anyway, it's, that's life. What are you gonna do? Uh, but, so for those of you that weren't sure where I am, yes, I am in my backyard. Uh, my backyard has just changed and it doesn't look the same anymore, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Life goes on. <laughs> and anyway, let's get back to what I did wanna talk to you about today. I have spent so many hours, days, weeks, months curating some color palettes to make yarn kits for a couple of projects. And if this goes well, I will do it for more projects. Uh, but what I started with is some of the some of the projects that require five balls of Be So Baby yarn. And I, what I did is I put together kits of 28 colorways of Be So Baby yarn in five color palettes. They're so beautiful. I think it's gonna be really hard to pick one, to be honest with you, but it's gonna be super fun at the same time. And you can follow the link that Judy will provide to the yarn kit page where it'll show you that one kit, and of course I've sold a couple of these patterns already, so I don't have the samples to show you, but I do have the photos. So one kit will make the Mika Cowl, will make the Cosmo Bag, or will make the Queen Angelfish uh, Cowl. Also, there are some patterns where two kits would make a completed project as well. And we'll talk about that in the end. The only project that I still have in person of those three is the uh, Cosmo bag. But all, both of those cowls and this bag will make, uh, can be made with one kit. If you would like to buy two kits, you could make the Audra bag, this one here, okay? This two bag set can be made with two sets of the kit. The Cosmo bag can be made with one set of the kits and both of these cowls, the Queen Angelfish and the Mika cowl, those can all be made with one kit. Um, all of this information is listed on the page, so if you forget, it's no trouble. And I've linked on the yarn kit page all of these patterns and all of their video tutorials, so you have all of them there. What I thought would be super fun today is to go through all the 28 kits. So when you go to that page, I give you a list of all the 28 color palettes and tell you which colors of Be So Baby yarn are included. And then down here, I show you the inspiration colors along with all five balls of yarn that will make those color inspiration palettes. And there's 28 different sets here. There are some that are summery, some that are wintry, some that are neutral, some that are bright. So here we go. There's the that's all 28. And so I, what I thought would be fun to do today is to pull each one of these sets. I brought, I thought I brought the piece of paper with me. I thought I did. I printed my notes and maybe I didn't bring them with me. Mm -hmm. Well, they're here. They're here on this page. 
So what we can do first is let's do, they are gorgeous. I'm very happy with all of them. I have spent so much time putting all of these together, hand picking these colors to put together in different kits that will evoke different emotions in different people. They're so pretty. And it's just a matter of which ones you love. I know, aren't the birds great today? The birds are just fantastic. Okay, so the first show, there are six beach palettes. There's one bird palette, there's two fruit palettes, there are seven landscape palettes, there are eight floral palettes, three reef palettes, and one tile palette. And if we have time, I'll go through all of them this morning, starting with beach palette number one. Oh yeah, I'm not complaining. I am, I'm very happy where I live and I love the birds, so it's all good. Okay, so the first beach one palette, it, let's see, we're gonna have to bring this closer so you can see this better. Let's see. I want you to be able to see the board well. Can you see the board better from there? Oh, Judy also posted links to my outfit today and I have to say, I absolutely love this top. This top um, is another version of the floral top that I've been buying on Amazon. There were three sets. I bought them in white and black. And this one I bought in a size large. I really love the floral detailing around the placket here. It also have so, has some tuxedo pleats here, which I've always liked on women's blouses. And it has those tuxedo pleats on the back too. Don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I'm wearing a size large and the buttonholes are stretchy, which is really great when you're between sizes might like me, but also large busted. It means that I have a little more room in a smaller top to not be busting at the seam. So the buttonholes are like this and super stretchy. So thought that might be interesting to some of you. Also wearing the Kelly earrings, which is a crochet pattern on my website. All right, let's go back. To, I love this blouse too, it's so pretty. Okay, let's go back to the list. Okay, blush pink and salmon. And what are the other three? Sandcastle, peacock, and turquoise. Sandcastle, peacock, and turquoise. Oh, these are the five colors that I used in that Audra bag, I believe. Let's, I could double check, but I think so. No, I used splash. I used, no, I used different colors in that one. Anyway, so for um, the beach palette number one, it's blush pink, salmon, sandcastle, peacock teal, and turquoise. Then let's go to number two. Oh, I need to find that piece of paper. I'm gonna go grab my piece of paper. Do you want me to go through all 28? It seems like this might take a lot of time. Uh, do you want me to go through all 28 or do you want me to allow you to pick which ones you want me to go through? I mean, if there's time and you want me to go through all 28, I'm happy to. I could talk about color all day long and I'm very happy about all 28 colorways that I've put together. I've spent a lot of time doing this and you know how much I love color. Um, and love talking about color. So until I get a request one way or the other, I'm gonna look at Silver Lavender, Ecru, Platinum Stone, and Snowflake. Just move this over a little bit so we can see both. Okay, Silver Lavender, Ecru, Ecru, Platinum, Stone and snowflake. Okay, this one is a really beautiful, pale, neutral colorway. We've talked about these colors so many times. And when you see the uh, the beautiful beach scene that I that was inspired for by this palette, so pretty. If you want to do something really subtle and neutral, so pretty. That's beach number two palette. Then we'll go to beach number three palette, which is gonna keep silver lavender, but we'll add orchid to it. And what comes aquamarine splash and indigo. Aquamarine splash and indigo. 
Is that indigo? Nope, that's navy. There's indigo. There we go. There's beach palette number three. Can you guys see this okay? The beach palette number three is orchid, silver, lavender, turquoise, splash, and indigo. Can you, can you see this one okay? Oops, that one goes here. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but I'll keep moving because I haven't heard an answer. Haven't seen an answer doesn't mean no one said anything. Oh, let's see, get those back. And then we're on to, yes, my blouse is on my Amazon page and Judy has posted links to it as well. And you can go to amazon.com slash shop slash Kristen Omdahl. This is size large. This is the one that has floral detailing um, on the front placket and some uh, tuxedo pleating. All right, can't see it in the shade. All right, I will try to move it to the other side. It might take me a minute because this easel is a little finicky, but I can try to swap my seat and the easel. Okay, bye. Have a good day. I love it. Love you too. Okay. Is that better? Maybe that's better in the sun. Okay, so we're off to beach number four, which is peacock. I can't reach I can't reach this now. Oh goodness. Very risky trying to move this while something's on the easel, but I'm just trying to do the best I can. Okay, so we'll try beach number, beach palette number four. Uh, beach number four is peacock teal, dark sage, peacock teal, dark sage. Peacock teal, dark sage, gold, lime, and grass. Gold. So here we go. So now we have peacock teal, sage green, gold, lime, and grass. Can you see those better now? Or is that still bad? I've dropped something. There we go. Sand cats. Mine goes here. And then grass at the bottom. Okay, so. Uh, someone's talking about patterns. Yes, as long as you log in at the are logged in at the time of your purchase, all of your PDF pattern purchases are saved to your own personal download library that you can access 24/7 from any device, and there are also unlimited downloads. It's a really wonderful feature on my website. Okay, beach number five, navy indigo splash, navy indigo splash aquamarine and snowflake this is really fun too honestly i don't know if you can really even pick a favorite there's so many gorgeous ones can you see those okay maybe i'll lift the camera up when we're doing these so this is navy indigo splash aquamarine and snowflake i'm gonna take them back down now and we'll do the next colorway I think you're going to really enjoy seeing all of these colorways presented on the product page when you follow the link because you get to see that inspiration photo along with all five balls of yarn 
placed right next to the photo. It's a really great, great way to see them all matched up. Okay, beach number six is aquamarine and turquoise. Robin egg blue, snowflake. Snowflake and silver lavender. Another really great cool tone colorway. So here we've got aquamarine, turquoise, robin egg blue, snowflake, and silver lavender. Whoops. Oh gosh, what dropped now? I heard a pin drop. Oh, I need to find it so that none of us step on it. Oh, it's for Snowflake. All right, where did it go? Of course, they're clear pins, so they're not easy to see. Hmm. Ah, there it is, right in front of me. Yay! Okay, so now we'll move on to, that finished up the beach palettes. So now we'll move on to the next sec section. And oh, there's a bird palette. This one's really pretty. It's such a cute bird. Uh, so it's gonna be peacock, teal, splash, robin egg blue. Peacock, teal, splash, robin egg blue. And then I think it had some coral. Yes, then peach and coral. This is so pretty. How fun are these colors? Aren't these adorable? So now we have peacock teal, splash, robin egg blue, um, peach, and coral. And it matches a really cute bird on the inspiration photo that it comes with. By the way, I think this is my favorite of the three blouses on that listing. And I think I like the way this one fits so much. I might end up getting this one in black or see what other colors it comes into. Okay, we're on to the fruit palette. So we'll start with fruit number one, which is princess and burgundy. Princess, burgundy, cherry, salmon. This is so fun. Uh, salmon and gold. So this one was a picture of really beautiful cherries on a board. And so we have princess, burgundy, cherry, salmon, and gold. So, so pretty together. Oh, look at the lace detailing on the sleeve cuff too. So cute on this blouse. This is my first time wearing it, so I'm noticing all the details as well. I was just so excited that I tried on a size large blouse this morning and it actually fit. I have been trying to eat healthy and work out a lot lately, but um, it's always nice to see when clothes are starting to fit better, you know? <laughs> so for those of you just joining, these are the five color curated palettes that I've put together for a new yarn kit. It's five balls of Be So Fine, or sorry, sorry five balls of Be So Baby yarn. And they, so in the kit, you get the five balls of Be So Fine yarn. You also get a double pocket mesh zip bag and you get a laundry bag. It's a $25 and change um, kit and you get it for only $19.99. It comes with the five colors and you get to pick from 28 palettes that I have curated for th uh, inspired by different nature photos. And you can find all of this on my website at the link for the new yarn kit that Judy has been providing. There are three patterns that uh, can be made with the, this exact kit. And I've shared links to all of those on that page. Also, you could use these colors as inspiration for anything else. Buy a couple of the kits to make a larger piece. Buy multiple kits to make a larger project. But I know that a lot of people like to see 
ideas for colors. I know color can be very intimidating, especially with the yarn that comes in 60 colors. So I took the time to put all of these kits together and boy, was it fun. It was a lot of work, but it was really fun because I have such a wide range of different color options now that you can see in the five color combination. And uh, you could even use this as reference. Let's say you only need three colors for a project or you need four colors for a project, or maybe you even need seven colors from a project. You could use these ideas as a jumping off point to go purchase yarn separately. Or if you want the kit to just be made as is, it is shown as is. Now this doesn't, the yarn kit does not come with the pattern. The patterns, it, because it fits several patterns, I shared links for how to get the free pattern page or the $1.99 PDF uh, download pattern and also video tutorials for each of the patterns that work for one. If you would like to buy two kits, you could buy two kits to make a larger pattern like this, the Audra two ball pattern. This is two bags in one. This would take two kits. Otherwise, on the pattern, on the yarn kit page, it shows you that you can make one kit, use one kit to make either the Cosmo bag or two cowls that are featured on there, one being the angel, uh, the queen angel fish cowl, and one being the Mika cowl, both samples of which I've already sold, so I don't have them. So I'm gonna move on now and do the fruit number two palette, which starts with bubble gum. I love this color, it's so cheerful. Princess lilac, princess lilac mint and prince how pretty is this what a beautiful beautiful pastel palette we've got here bubble gum princess lilac mint and prints. Those colors match up with a beautiful photo, pastel photo of a pair that I was so inspired to do this palette with. It's such a pretty photo, such pretty colors, and uh, I think this would make an absolutely gorgeous project, whether you make a bag, you could buy a couple of the kits to make an afghan out of this, you could make a hat, you could make all sorts of things with this. You could make several hats. You could make hats and a scarf. All right, we're running short on time, it looks like, because we do have a 9.30 video premiere today. And this recipe that I'm going to share with you in the video premiere is probably my favorite recipe right now that I've made three times this week. I keep making it because it's so delicious and so healthy. It's pancakes that I've made, like savory pancakes. I don't know if you're familiar with scallion pancakes. It's one of my favorite carryout dishes, uh, but they're usually really greasy, heavy, and not so healthy. Uh, and I wanted to make a really super duper healthy version of them. So I shredded a zucchini, a carrot, chopped up some green onions and some garlic, and then made a batter out of chickpea flour and water, mixed it all together and made pancakes out of them or fritter, I guess you could call them fritters too, but they're not fried. I uh, brown them a little bit on the stove with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray, avocado spray, which is very minimal in the realm of, the, of oil, and then finish baking them in the oven. You could also put them in a panini press, which is what I'm going to show the next time I show how to make them. I was considering doing that live today, but thought this was more important to do today. And then maybe one day next week, we'll do a live where I show you some variations on the pancakes. They're so good. Oh, I added fresh mint to them as well. Super easy to do. If you're not eating a veg, you know, you can make them for a savory breakfast, for a snack. If you're eating vegetarian, you could make them as a meal with rice and a sauce, which is what I showed in the video. Or it could be a side dish to a different type of a meal. Doesn't matter what kind of uh, diet you're on. You could uh, modify this for whatever kind of diet you're on or whatever type of dietary needs you need. But it is chock full of vegetables and has no oil in it, which I thought was really exciting for a pancake that's crispy. If you have an air fryer, they'd be amazing in an air fryer too. So I'm super excited to share the recipe with you. And like I said, I've eaten them three times already this week and I'm making them again today. I love them that much. Uh, so hope, and I think it's something that you could add different spices to and dress up in different ways as well. And it's just nice to have um, a recipe in your arsenal that is 
a healthy version of something else that still has the crisp factor that people get excited about you know and that crispiness and the spices you know balance out the veggie so that some people that maybe don't like things to be as veggie filled uh, may not realize how healthy it is they're that good um, all right so those of you that are asking for the video for the links everything's been shared already in this video judy's just shared it again and don't forget you can come back and watch this video when it's no longer live when the live red button is gone and at that point the show notes are all included in the video description which gives you links to every single thing that i talked about in each episode of the show so you just want to come back there if you're not seeing it judy has been posting all of the links here and thank you so much for that but if you miss them you can find them there and everything i talked about is also on my website where if you just do a quick search you could find everything there or on my amazon shop which i've also talked about today um uh, yes, you can wet block the new Be So Vivid yarn. Yes. All right. Do we have time for, how about we do, we've got time for one more palette. So let's do landscape number one, which is eggplant and violet. I might do a, uh, I might do a video showing all of these two so that you can pause them as, as you see fit. Uh, landscape, uh, landscape, eggplant, violet, peach, coral, burgundy, peach, coral. Oh, this is so pretty. Now this was a landscape photo and also reminds me of when we've talked about, um, also when we've talked about like really golden sunset photos, uh, look at that eggplant, violet, peach, coral, and burgundy. Absolutely stunning, stunning colors. I love that colorway, it's so beautiful. That's landscape number one. There are 28 colorways that I've put together. There are so many beautiful colors for you to see. Head over to the link that I've provided and you can see all of the photos there. I will post a shorter video today showing you all of the color combinations as well. Um, and again, you can find everything there. It's so beautiful. I've put all these colors together all by myself for you. I hope you're as excited about my passion for nature inspiration as I am. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments or contact me through customer service or Judy. We're here to help you if we can. Uh, and I do think that this is gonna be a fun way to demystify picking colors out of a 60 color palette. There's so many different types of colorways shown here. Warm tones, cool tones, things that seem more seasonally, just there's so many different things. And if you think things are missing, I'm always open to new suggestions. Okay, does anybody have any other questions? I'm gonna wait and see if there's any more questions. Ah, happy birthday, Joe. All right, I don't see any more questions. So thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed all of the color conversations today. If you have a chance and would like to join me for my zucchini, carrot, scallion pancake recipe, we're gonna live premiere that video in two minutes. I think it's a three minute video. If you wanna join me for it, great. If you don't, that's fine. It'll be there whenever you're interested in seeing it. And have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I will see you Monday for the next episode of the Kristen Namdahl Show. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Okay, I'll see you at the live premiere in one minute now. Bye-bye.